It was in the back of my mind. Black people just feel like golf is a white, male-dominated thing. Like, that's not something black people do. When I first started to play golf, it was out of necessity. I was working in corporate America, and golf seemed like something that only white men were doing. I felt intimidated. I was embarrassed because I didn't know what to do. I started playing and learning more about the game. But I did notice that when I did go play, there weren't other women who looked like me. I knew there had to be other black women who felt the way I do. And that's when I thought, I should figure this out. I should kind of see what the next steps are. My name is Tiffany Fitzgerald. I am the founder and CEO of Black Girls Golf. I just kind of put something out on social media and said, meet me at the golf course. And 26 women showed up. Hi there, this is Tiffany. Oftentimes, the meeting after the meeting happens on the golf course. And when you're not there, you are really missing out. A putter doesn't have a loft because you want it to roll. And today, I'd like to invite our members to Top Golf. <laughs> we do a lot of social stuff at Top Golf. You can get non golfers and golfers together in the same space and still have fun. I love that golf is a way for us to bond and to be able to talk and communicate and connect with each other. I created Black Girls Golf because I thought it was important that black women have a space from a golf course. I wanted to show women, if I can play, you can play. That even though this is a tough sport, you can do it too because we're all doing it together and we're supportive of each other. Okay, you guys, we're gonna warm up a little bit. No pressure. Having a sense of belonging is necessary, and Black Girls Golf provides that. I thought it was just me that felt like, you know, an anomaly on the course. Being a novice, number one, but then also being a female. So this really has been a, a good safe haven. I actually reached out to Tiffany through Twitter. I told her that I was very interested in learning more about her organization. Black Girls Golf is very active on social media. I wanted people to really understand golf is not pretentious. It's however far you go back. So far you go up. She's very knowledgeable, so I ended up taking lessons from her. And I can get it within three feet of the hole, I know I can, you get, know it you can get it You already know you can get it in. I like that. Black Girls Golf really attracts a special kind of person. My name is Stephanie Raines. I'm a former athletic director and basketball coach and a professional basketball coach. I usually had to play with the guys all the time. That's how we got better because you didn't get the, as much coaching with, for the female. I'm a two-time Hall of Famer as a basketball player, uh, a Hall of Fame at Mercer University. I think it's very important for women of color to have role models. You want to see people that look like you successful and, and coming from the same place that you've come from and say that I can make it. I know about golf from my daughter. It was the first thing that she could do that I didn't know anything about. Um, and the crazy thing is growing up in a state, I remember I probably crossed eight to nine golf courses on my bus ride to school every single day and it just wasn't in my frame of reference. I started golf in the first grade. I never tried it before. I wanted to do something different. I've been playing ever since. I got on the golf team in middle school. How many girls are on the golf team? Probably like four or five. And the rest are all boys? Yeah. So for the last four years, she's consistently been the only girl in her grade on the golf team. Black Girls Golf has served as a positive role model to me. Telling young girls about golf is an inspiration. You can see someone that looks like you doing the things that you want to do, or even things you didn't even know existed. They can say, wow, I didn't even know I could do it, but now I think I can. My name is Joy Matthews. I'm a senior accountant and I'm 32 years old. When I met Joy, she attended one of our social events and I started asking Joy why she started playing golf and she let me know that golf was very therapeutic for her and golf was something that got her through a really tough time in life. I was 27 when I lost my father. It kind of sent me through a depression stage where it was hard for me to be social. I just didn't want to be around people. I didn't know how to be around people. Black Girls Golf helped me therapeutically get out and kind of talk to people and open me up. It's kind of like a sisterhood. 
Women are actually entering the field and entering the sport in droves now. There's nothing that a woman can't do. And it's time that, you know, we kind of step out of the box and not look at these things as barriers or boundaries. Black Girls Golf has really created that space. I know that the work that I'm doing is going to impact someone that's going to come after me. So that when the future looks back, they can have a sense of pride that there was someone who thought about me. Someone who knew that I would need golf as a tool to impact my life or change the trajectory of my life.